there's a lot of different ways that you can recruit agents to your downline, okay? One of the most important things you need to know is the more successful you are, okay? And the more attractive you are as a personality, your work ethic, like when people look at you, what do they think? Okay, you wanna attract thousands and thousands of people. You wanna recruit hundreds of agents, great. You need to get to where people are looking at you and they're thinking, dude, that freaking, that person's successful, that, that chick's successful, that dude's successful, and I wanna be just like them, okay? But how do you get more successful? Well, you gotta figure that out, right? Because the insurance industry, going and selling insurance and making money is not that hard. One of the biggest things people struggle with, like for example, if I wanted to go literally go recruit 10,000 insurance agents tomorrow, we have so much attention around the planet that we could do that. So when, I, so when you think, how do we recruit agents to your downline? Well, are you attractive? Like, are you the type of person that people wanna be on? Because the only reason why, if you think you're attractive and people want, people want to work with you, okay, and they should because you're amazing, great. The only reason why they wouldn't is because they don't know about you. You may be successful, you may make tons of money, you may be attractive, whatever. Attractive in multiple ways, whatever it is, right? You, but you, but you may not actually be getting attention. Because if nobody knows you, they will not be able to be recruited by you and want to join your team because they don't know that you're even, you, you even exist. The difference in me and you at this point is people know that I exist and they may know about you. Okay, but at what level do they really know about you, right? And at what level do they see you be successful? So being attractive and really starting to get out and get attention is so, so, so valuable, okay? The more successful you are, it's not always about your car and all that, even though we have recruits that come in, they're like, dude, I saw you go from uh, 800 Instagram followers to 30,000 in the last few years, and I was like, dang, I wanna work with that dude. Or they see, you know, uh, uh, some vehicles, cars we have outside, and some of our salespeople, and some of our ops people, and COO, and all that, and I'm like, man, um, I wanna work there. Everybody's driving nice cars. Well, does that help? Sure. Certain people, it helps, okay? Certain people, it helps. I mean, I would maybe pay attention to it if I was going to interview at a place, okay? But if you think about, there's a lot of different ways to get in front of people, but how successful are you? Also, what offer, what value do you have to offer? Like when, when they look at you and they look at your processes and what you're doing, like do you have a real onboarding system? And don't, don't tell me you do, to do if you don't, okay? Like let's keep it real, right? That, that we're family, okay? Like if, if you don't have an onboarding, a hiring process, an onboarding system, an interview process, like, like an actual training process, a pre-onboarding, like a day-to-day -day operation standpoint where you're training your team twice a day, like all this stuff, then what do you really have to offer? Okay, because the, 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 is the value there to where people are certain they want to work for you? Okay, so think about your value. Also, think about what your systems are. Like how, when you recruit people, how are you getting them in front of people? Prospecting and marketing is key, right? Like I can teach anyone to give someone three quotes and sell a final expense policy or to go out and replace a Medicare plan. Like that ain't, that ain't rocket science. It's getting in front of the person that's more difficult. Okay, so we talk about scaling and really growing something with people and recruiting a lot of agents to a downline, okay? Uh, having a system people can plug into and be successful is a lot harder than it, think, than it sounds, by the way, but it's really imperative and really important, okay? Also, the day-to-day -day operations, what's that look like? Are you training? Like when, when our whole office went home during COVID for four weeks, which I regret, by the way, it, it didn't matter, we were on Zoom Literally, salespeople were on Zoom with their videos on all day, every single day, and we had trainings twice a day on Zoom. Why? Because we still got to be attentive and focused on growing the people we have. And we had three new people actually join that week that we moved home. Well, they had, they had, they had successful opening weeks because of how intent we were on being successful, right? It's the difference between a professional and an amateur. Okay, before I get to the last point, I'm gonna give you some different ideas of how you can actually start to recruit and add people to your team. Whether that be, um, I think one of the coolest things that I'm noticing is our new hiring program, how we're actually physically, we're actually putting job posts up and vetting people and sending you resumes or even putting people on your calendar. Where we're, we've got hundreds of people reaching out to us every week looking for a place to land, whether it be licensed or unlicensed, and we have a hiring program meant to actually help you succeed and do that, okay? Now, there's also, um, there's, there's Indeed, there's ZipRecruiter, there's, and some of these, are the, unless you really know what you're doing and you m actually milk it, right, and you do it every single day, it may not be as successful. Facebook jobs, eh, Craigslist, um, 
I think what some of the bigger ways is like ads to webinars, right? How, how I, I would be doing opportunity webinars, right? I'd be doing like, maybe I wouldn't call them opportunity webinars, maybe I'd call them like a training, like, hey, how, how, how I made, how, how I went from zero to $350,000 in three years. I don't know, you, you think about your success and your numbers and how you can share your story so anybody can get where you are by sharing your numbers specifically, okay? Also, uh, I think another really cool one outside of just webinars, which I love, by the way, uh, is content. Right, videos. It's it's putting content out every single day, on the line. Okay, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. And and you're putting it out there, so that one day someone will find you. Well, five and a half years ago, five and a half years ago, I made a decision to put out a lot of content and to put out as much content as anyone's ever seen in the insurance industry. And I can tell you, we're approaching forty thousand subscribers at this point on YouTube. Um, there's not. I mean, most. Uh, we'll, we'll run into insurance agents at events and 90% and, and of the crowd will raise their hand there. They knew who we were, we've already seen us. Well, when you could walk into an event or a webinar or speak or a conference or a breakout session or, or down or the freaking elevator and someone already knows who you are, you have a leg up, right? On, on the competition that doesn't have attention. Okay, so I love the content piece. Um, there's also, Email blast. I mean, I've heard of heard people successfully do an email blast. You got to be careful there, right? There, there, there's some there's some rules there. Um, I've gotten some text or some. I'm not a big fan of like the robo calls people do or like the 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 uh, what do you call the uh, voicemails? The 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 um, they're kind of like voice broadcasting, but the the voicemail drops. Um, there's a lot of different. I mean, direct mail. I, one of the things I also love too is like doing events in different areas. So we, we've done training tours. I didn't use it to recruit. I use it to recruit coaching clients and stuff, right? Um, but and, and we've had several like six-figure earners that are going to be making seven figures in the next couple of years because they hired us for coaching. But one of my favorite things to do is events, is to go travel and do a tour. So I'm actually going, and, and I'll speak at your event, by the way, and help you get people, and we can promote this thing together. I've got a gentleman in Colorado, uh, in Denver, that we're actually going to do an event together at the end of the month. He's promoting that I'm there, people are going to show up, we're both going to speak, and he's probably going to recruit some people. Yeah, I may get some clients out of it. I don't know yet. All I know is there's people that do road shows, like we did the training tour earlier this year. We went to Texas, uh, we went to Dallas, Houston, Austin, and San Antonio, and we were we, we we had over 600 agents register for that in in literally 13 days, and we had a couple hundred attend over the course of four days. Right, like that's a unique way of getting in front of people. Um, the conference events. Love those, man. They pay off because you get in front of large numbers of people, cost you a lot of money, a lot of time. It's not very easy. But when you talk about recruiting agents to your downline, like you need people, right? Like you, you don't need people, you don't need more money, you need more people. Well, you need a lot more people because people are the ones that actually can help you start to scale out your brand and your company. Because some of the things that we specialize in now are, are helping people scale, just like you. If they want to, if they want to expand their agency locally, remotely, recruit agents to their downline, right? We've got training, coaching hiring and events to help them do exactly that. So when you think about recruiting agents to your downline, I want you to, I want to give you a challenge. In the next 90 days, how many agents do you want to recruit to your downline? Give me an answer, put it in comments below, commit to that decision, write that down every day and show up and get after it and go for it. Hey, if you love this, okay, I can promise you, actually guarantee it. The next one, maybe better. All right, my first investment, I guess our first investment in real estate is a climate controlled self storage unit. The building's 10,000 square feet. I've got all the numbers and all the details for anybody that ever wants to own a real estate property.